I'm going to talk about triglycerides. This is a common component of the cholesterol blood test, but often it's very misunderstood. We'll show you what triglycerides are, what they're used for, and where they're carried within the blood and what the, what the number means on your cholesterol panel. So basically triglycerides are a type of fat carried in the blood. And if I show you here, this is the molecular structure. You have a glycerol molecule bound to three fatty acid molecules. And it's basically a fat. This is the way transport, fat is transported around. When it gets into the muscle and the fat cells, there's an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, which breaks it up and allows it to be used as fuel within the muscles and the mitochondria. And this triglyceride, these triglycerides are largely carried in three different types of lipoproteins. You've got the chylomicrons, the very low density lipoproteins and the intermediate density lipoproteins. Now, if you're not, if you've just had a meal, these are often packaged up into chylomicrons and they transport the triglycerides around the body, often to fat cells or to the muscles to be used as fuels or to the liver. But we tend to measure uh, lipid panels when people are fasting so that there's not a lot of chylomicrons in the sample. And then what we're seeing in, in, is the amount of uh, chylomicrons in the VLDL um, lipoproteins. And in summary, they're used as a form of energy storage. So when are they raised in the blood panel? So if you see high triglycerides, first question you need to ask is, were you fasting when the sample was taken? If you've not fasted before the test, get it repeated and have your triglycerides checked again. People with insulin resistance, diabetes, metabolic syndrome do tend to have high levels of um, triglycerides in their lipid panel. And that's because they have big VLDL particles carrying these triglycerides around the body. And it's known that the higher your triglycerides, the higher your risk of cardiovascular disease. The VLDLs also have an apolipoprotein B molecule and they can end up, um, ending up leading to atherosclerosis as well. So it's not a good thing to have high triglycerides. Ideally, you should have them as low as possible. And if you manage the underlying problems such as diabetes or prediabetes, you can often significantly improve your lipoproteins without having to take medication. Thanks.